Time now to take a look at what's been happening in the world of sports. And joining us in the studio is our sports editor, Paul Need. Welcome, Paul. Hello. So let's first start with football. So Son Hung Min was back among the goals during the weekend, something he says is a, a confidence booster for him. Yes, absolutely. He scored two on Saturday in a 3 0 FA Cup win over Preston North End of the second tier. Son, the uh, Spurs number seven, was at Deepdale, the home of one of the most famous number sevens in British football history, that being Sir Tom Finney. And those sat on the Sir Tom Finney stand will have had an excellent view of Son's sensational first goal. After a goalless first half, Spurs eventually found the lead five minutes after the restart. Son curled the ball into the bottom corner from way out. His second goal followed 19 minutes later, this time showing good skill and movement in the box to send the ball past Preston goalkeeper Freddie Woodman. Afterward, Preston manager Ryan Lowe said that Son's goal and he is world class. He had four shots, all hit the target and was voted man of the match on social media by the Tottenham fans. Arnold Danjuma added a third for Tottenham to make it 3-0 and they are now in the hat for the fifth round draw, which will be on, take place in the early hours of Tuesday morning in, here in South Korea. And we have another South Korean star playing in Europe as Woo hyun -gyu has now moved to Celtic in Scotland. Yes, that's right. Uh, his move was announced on Wednesday last week and uh, he moved from Suwon Samsung Blue Wings to Celtic in the SPL. And the transfer fee is a reported £2.5 million or around €3 million. US dollars. And he was handed his debut over the weekend as well as Celtic beat Dundee United 2-0. The 21-year-old didn't start, though, and had to settle for an eight-minute cameo off the bench. He joins a club that sits top of the SPL, nine points clear of bitter rivals Rangers. Up next is Livingston at home in the early hours of Thursday morning career time. It's likely to be Oi Hyun Gyu's home debut. Elsewhere, though, in Europe on Saturday, midfielder Lee Jae Song scored for the second match in a row. He and his FSV Mainz teammates beat VFL Bochum 5-2, with Lee scoring the game's opener in the first minute. This after scoring, the, scoring in the second minute in the match before, an eventual 2-1 loss to Borussia Dortmund. Right, and uh, South Korea's domestic league has been ranked the best in Asia. What can you tell us more? Yes, that's right. The K-League is ranked 18th in the world by the International Federation of Football History and Statistics, also known as the IFFHS. And this is the 12th year in a row that the K-League has been ranked as the best in Asia, and it's moved up four places from last year. This year, K-League was given a score of 525.25 points, ahead of Japan's J-League in 30th place with 402 points. Points for the ranking are calculated by adding together the total points determined by wins, losses and draws of the top five teams in each league and then multiplying them by the FIFA coefficients. And moving on to short track speed skating, I understand that Victor Ahn, also known here in Korean as Ahn Hyun, who has missed out on coaching position in here in South Korea. Yes, that's right. Six Olympic medals for him, but he's still on the lookout for his next coaching job. And of course, won three medals for South Korea at the 2006 Winter Olympics, but became a naturalized Russian citizen before the 2014 Games in Sochi, where he won another three for Russia. He was a coach at China for the Beijing Games last year and hoped to, hand, to land a job with Songnam City Hall's team here in South Korea. But officials said on Sunday that Ahn didn't make the cut and admitted that media attention and a potential backlash were taken into consideration and had come under some scrutiny for switching his nationality. All right. Thanks for that, Paul. See you next week. Thank you. See you.